Not too long ago, anyone over 75 was thought to be too old for open-heart surgery. But that's not the case anymore with new procedures that reduce complications such as strokes. Recent studies have shown that the average age has shifted dramatically upwards for patients who go on to live healthy, productive lives after cardiac valve surgery. For one 88-year-old Valley woman, age was no issue when it came to fixing her heart. Move ahead. Just after her 88th birthday, Esther Robinson began feeling fatigued. She chalked it up to age slowing her down. But during her annual visit to the cardiologist, a routine echocardiogram showed a defective heart valve was the cause. He said, I think you're a candidate for surgery. And, and <laughs> I was surprised. Esther didn't immediately say okay. I thought about it. I thought... I thought, you know, back and forth, of, well, maybe I'm too old. Esther's husband, Carl, and her cardiac surgeon thought otherwise. They supported her eventual decision to go ahead with valve repair surgery at Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital, which has top ratings in the region for overall cardiac services. The doctor indicated that what her age was, but that she was in good physical condition, and there were... 60-year-olds that he wouldn't touch, and he has done 90-year-olds that have done very well. How is she doing? She's doing well. Good, good. Cardiac surgeon Peter Birnbaum knows if severely leaking heart valves like Esser's aren't repaired or replaced, patients have a 50% chance of dying in the next year. And a defective heart valve can often make a patient feel like they're suffocating. He considered Esther a good candidate for surgery, despite her 88 years. Our uh, pleasant lady upstairs, you know, you can see that mentally, excellent, kidney function, good, um, never had a stroke, never had a heart attack, never smoked. Hi, Esther. Hi. Nice to see you. How nice are you today? You. I'm doing very well. I think that at, in the community at large, there's some reluctance to think that heart surgery is an option. But really, nowadays, heart surgery is a lot safer. And in fact, in elderly patients, we're able to perform the surgery with, with great success. Dr. Birnbaum sees more and more patients in their 80s and even 90s whose lives greatly improve after heart valve replacement. Everything sounds good today. While generally healthy elderly patients have nearly the same success rates for heart surgery as younger patients, there are some differences. Clearly, the elderly take a little bit longer to recover, a little bit slower to mobilize slower to ambulate, but just I think they're entitled. Esther came home three weeks after her surgery and had no complications. Two months later, Carl was pleased with her progress and could see a big difference. Her breathing has improved, and her walking is, uh, is very good, and it's improving uh, from week to week. Esther's doctor was even more thrilled with her recovery. When she went for a follow-up consultation with Dr. Sohn, the cardiologist, he, his grin went from ear to ear. Give me the can of tuna over there. Two eggs. Esther feels stronger every day and is happy to return to her old, active self. Well, I think that... <laughs> Getting back to a normal life, taking care of doing more cooking, doing more gardening, doing more of the things that I'm used to doing. She's making plans again for the future. We have a daughter in Massachusetts. I might feel like going to Massachusetts someday. <laughs> Esther would advise others her age not to immediately rule out heart valve surgery as too risky. She has two words when people ask her about her experience. No regrets. No regrets and a more active life. Well, way to go, Esther. With the number of Americans 75 and older expected to quadruple over the next few decades, I bet we'll be seeing a lot more young at heart surgery patients just like Esther. Here are some warning signs to keep in mind. Sudden fatigue, even after slight exertion. Shortness of breath chest pain or pressure occurring at rest rather than during exercise, rapid fluttering heartbeat, dizziness or fainting, swollen feet or ankles, 
and a sudden feeling of anxiety might be more than symptoms of older age. So be sure to let your physician know about it. For more on this, visit our website at medwatchtoday.com.